On uh, my far left is Cloud Del Fara, who is a producer and uh, uh, runs a production company in New York, not too far from here, called BCDF. Kat Papiel, how's that? All right. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, works with Indiegogo, uh, who is a crowdfunding organization that you've probably heard of, and she'll be sharing with us uh, some of the sort of 21st century uh, approaches to uh, financing your film. On my right is Reva Goldberg, who works with uh, a wonderful organization called Cinereach. Uh, it's a not-for-profit organization that gets involved with uh, grant writing. Uh, Jamin O'Brien is, uh, is a fellow that I've, uh, I go back with many years who's kind of done it all. He's uh, produced films at every level. All the way down on the right is uh, Joanna Vincente, who's, I will say, sort of a hero of independent film. Uh, Joanna's also done it all. She's uh, <laughs> produced uh, too many films to list, and since uh, December of 2009 has been the executive director of uh, the IFP in New York. You know, I, I meet a lot of first-time directors who are trying to get their film made, and my first bit of advice is find a, a, find a good producer that's been there before. I would say for all funders sort of have their own um, their own uh, preferences in terms of what stage you're at when you apply and how much experience you have. Some grants are for emerging filmmakers, some grants are for more experienced filmmakers. Um, even for the early career filmmakers, it, re it really does help in fiction and nonfiction, it does help to have a short film um, that really conveys um, what you can do, what your vision is, what's sort of unique about you as a storyteller. Um, but if you're making a documentary and you have managed to um, get a little ways on your own and shoot some footage that really conveys what's special about your story. Even if you don't have a previous short, sometimes that early work that you've done yourself can really speak for the project. It's much more dependent on friends and family money, on uh, you know crowdfunding, on on grant money. It's uh, it's not you're not really going to get the sort of sophisticated, high net worth individuals who are um, you know just looking to to participate because they may or may not lose their money. I think that that sort of is, is knowing who you're going after and, and what sort of conversation you're having with them is, is really so vital and so key. There's, there's not really a model for micro-budgeted films right now, but there is definitely a, a really huge pitch to be made right now for, for micro-budget films, for films under the million dollar mark or even well under the million dollar mark. For us, crowdfunding allows filmmakers that, um, that, that bridge into the industry, so to, we kind of alleviate that bottleneck and get you kind of moving forward. Um, and, and, and you know, obviously, uh, at the end of the day, it is still down to your storytelling and, and, and your expertise as a filmmaker to, to kind of keep, you know, getting, getting yourself to market. By. Unless you want to play in the one plus million dollar range and you have a very slight shot at a theatrical release, you, you really need to prepare your business model for these VOD, internet uh, type of releases because these days, as much as we speak about, there's like a, a nice indie vibe. This is the best way to kill a project. Um, you know, when, you, when you come with a package saying, I can do as good as this one movie in the past 10 years who did this, um, you're only featuring how little you understand about the industry. Um, the pitch video as part of your campaign is really about selling your story and your passion as a filmmaker. Not necessarily the actual script or storyline, that's sure something that you want to express, but it's really about um, opening up the, the story of who you are. Um, we find that the majority of people that fund, the strangers that fund um, campaigns on our, our platform, are kind of what we call shadow out artists. They're lawyers, accountants, writers, they're, they're not part of the film industry. Here is one opportunity for them to be part of the filmmaking process. So they're never going to meet Martin Scorsese, but they're going to meet you. <laughs> You're going to send them video updates. They're going to be part of the process of, of, of seeing, you know, how the shoot unraveled, you know, who you cost as, as the lead actor. And that's really where your, in, your incre increase in funding is going to come from.